And hello once again to all the followers and subscribers of the Idiot's Guide to Collecting Iron Cross Second Class and welcome to another edition of our reference videos and in this episode we will be identifying AG Hanau or PKZ24. I'm gonna give this a go and try to pronounce the name in German and it goes Arbeitsgemeinschaft der Hanauer Raketenhersteller. I hope I got that right to all my German friends. And thank you very much for your continued support by your subscription to our YouTube channel and continuing to like and share the videos. And in this episode, as mentioned earlier, we will be focusing on AG Hanauer or the maker who goes by the PKZ number 24. Quick trivia about this maker. It's actually a group of makers, all who come from Hanauer. There are at least 10 companies who are suspected to be part of this consortium. And the different marks on these particular crosses are possible clues to tell you that there was definitely more than one maker. One of the most easily identifiable feature of this group of makers, at least for me, and with the crosses that I have on hand, is the wider than usual rim around the frame. As you can see in this video, uh, on the left screen, it, it actually goes out the whole frame. Um, and that's what I call the rim, just to be able to differentiate, you know, how other people call it, the frame. So this rim that's circled there goes all around the cross and as you can clearly see it's not the normal width and I'll have a comparison with the PKZ number 23 in the next couple of slides down the video. Another feature of this cross can be found on the reverse or on the reverse parts of the date. I'm just focusing here on the reverse and as you can clearly see on the number three there is that little what i'd like to call a nose dropping from the horizontal part of the top of the three and it's not very easily seen but you can see it actually with when you have like a magnifying glass around with you or your phone you know zoom into it you'll see that tiny tiny part of a nose for some and some others it's a little bit more defined, but it's not as long as the ones that you can find on the 23. So two crosses side by side. On the left is your PKZ24, and on the other one, PKZ23, and you can clearly see the difference in the width of the rim around the beads and this part of the frame. You can clearly see that the one on the left, which is number 24 definitely wider than the one on the right which is 23 and there you have it guys the reverse or front and the reverse or back of the iron cross second class by ag hanau again these are just easily identifiable features of the cross without getting too deep into different parts and features and whatnots or variations these are just simple basic ones that's designed to make it easy for you to remember when you come up you know when you're out there looking for crosses you can easily pull out your phone check out this youtube channel and look hang on i think i have seen this cross somewhere before and there you go guys the iron cross second class by ag hanau who also goes by the pkz number 24. Thank you very much for spending a little bit of your time. I'm trying to keep this video short and sweet. But yeah, please continue to subscribe, like, and share. Yeah, thank you very much for your support and for sharing it to your friends. And uh, yeah, we're just trying to simplify this hobby as much as we can. All right, guys, this is Chris Coyd saying, spread the love, stay happy, stay safe, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.